How cold is it? Bloody cold. Bloody cold. <laughs> Not wrong. <laughs> doing barley let's roll the tape before that i want to explain a little bit about this episode first up i'm going to show you a really cool place then i'm going to show you three things somewhere exotic a place that presents great value and lastly something that tastes amazing let's do it Got dropped off at Jim Byron. Gonna have a walk around, see what's going on, check out some seafood, see what's good. Get back to you. Jim Byron Fish Market is around 20 minutes south of the airport. Despite the wetness and the rather unpleasant odor, the market is one of the area's most popular tourist attractions. Hello, Hello how you going? Uh, Just having a look. Both locals and tourists pack Jim Byron Fish Market every day, with the busiest time of day being first thing in the morning. All of the seafood at the market is mostly kept in boxes filled with water and ice to maintain freshness. From crabs to prawns, the market pretty much has it all. Sellers will even clean and prepare the fish just the way you want it. Six in the morning it opens, yeah, and closes what time? It's close, uh, seven. Seven? Seven, eight. Yeah, cool. Gonna go over to Sardine, check it out. This is for our most exotic section. It's meant to be really good. The reviews online have been really good. I'm starving, seriously. I'm gonna eat 50 plates. Let's go. First of all though, I gotta cross this crazy road. Sardine is located around 15 minutes north of Seminyak by taxi. This is a great place to stop if you're into fine dining. Housed in a sprawling bamboo structure overlooking the restaurant's very own rice paddies, this place is a must. Hello, how are you going? Thank you. The menu is made up of mostly fish and greens, with the vegetables sourced from its very own organic garden. And there's quite an extensive cocktail list should you feel like a drink. It's in this thing, but it smells so bloody fresh. As soon as the bread came out, I knew the food was going to be on point. The decision of what appetizer to go with wasn't easy, which is why I think I ordered around four. Before I did that though, I ordered the drink. The stuffed potato was a gift from the staff, and as you can see by my face, it was insanely tasty. Next, the first of my appetizers turned up. I chose Manus clams purely because the ingredients said bintang beer, garlic, chili, and chorizo. Next was a dish I was really keen for, kingfish carpaccio, and this dish did not disappoint. Next was the Mediterranean calamari salad, which was a nice mix of tomatoes, olives, chickpeas and peppers, and a lemon olive oil dressing. Next was my main meal, grilled hamachi, and came with a super tasty shiitake and seaweed salad. I love this little salad. If I had to pick one of the meals that I had at Sardine, it'd have to be the kingfish carpaccio. There's something about a carpaccio that sinks to the taste buds. Thank you, sir. Thank you, mate. It's legend. For four decades, Poppy's Restaurant has been a place for tourists to relax in comfort. The restaurant is located on Poppy's Lane 1 and is just a seven minute walk from Kuta Beach. The menu caters to various tastes, with lots of Indonesian meals, fresh seafood and international cuisine. Poppy's Restaurant is a great place to sit and relax after a long morning or an afternoon walking around Kuta. 
The restaurant is set back from the streets behind private walls and is filled with flowers, mini waterfalls, ponds and exotic plants. Given this was to represent value, we went for the rice table, which is the perfect way to try lots of Indonesian style dishes and delights, and it didn't disappoint. Fish, chicken and lamb satay, nasi goreng, steamed rice. It's a green vegetable, this is curry pejab bean, curry vegetable, squid, anchovy with some peanut. This is fish, this is beef rendang, this is a lamb, stong seng, sweet sour prawn. It's chicken breast with all the sauce already, dinner sauce for satay, yeah. pickle and chili. Onion, tomato, chopped chili. Lovely, thank you very much. You thank Absolutely. you, mate. Yeah. Oh, man. This one's like a curry, I think. Mm. Oh, man. Check out this black rice pudding filled with banana. It was delicious. Mm, lemony fresh. Thank you. See ya, mate. You too. Bye bye. And as you can see, I even went back the next day to try their world famous pina colada, world famous garlic cheesy bread, and their tom yum soup. This is for best taste. It's gonna be a dessert. I know you're thinking, but I'm gonna show you what I'm thinking. place didn't have it. We've got to go up to the Circle K, which is up here, just this way. Let's go check up there. YouTuber, boss. YouTuber. Huh? YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> 16,500 for you. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Look at this goodness. So good. about right down the guts a big piece of Kit Kat that is crazy crazy mm. check that oh it's like a dollar it's like super creamy ice cream friends yes we are I'm like halfway down Big piece of Kit Kat still going. No wonder I'm fat. Pretty much because all you do in Bali is eat, sleep, and walk, we're gonna go grab a couple of beers, chill out to what has been three massive meals. Well, two massive meals and one little uh, sugary snack. Mm.